At long last, the Nigerian Senate has screened the former governor of River State, Rotimi Amechi, for the position of minister in President Muhammadu Buhari's cabinet. Amechi's screening had been shifted several times over petitions filed against his nomination by some individuals believed to be acting for the River State government. But Amechi's screening was not without some drama as PDP senators refused to ask him questions after Minority Leader Godswill Akwabio had announced that PDP senators would not join in questioning Amechi until the report on the nominee by the Senate uh, Committee on Ethics and Privileges had been debated. Majority Leader Alin Dume then suggested that being a one-time lawmaker, Amechi should be allowed to take a bow and go. But that was overruled by Senate President Bukola Saraki, who asked the former governor uh, to answer a few questions. Now, only APC senators asked questions as their PDP counterparts maintained a studied silence. Amechi spoke on issues ranging from corruption to the rate of unemployment and development of the agricultural sector. And with the report of the River State Commission of Inquiry, Amechi argued that there was nowhere in the entire report where he was indicted. The Senate resumed plenary Thursday and continued screening ministerial nominees presented by President Buhari. It had actually adjourned its sitting on Tuesday following the appearance of the Senate President at the Code of Conduct Tribunal where he is standing trial for false declaration of assets. Now, Amechi's screening follows a submission of the long-awaited report of the Ethics and Privileges Committee of the Senate, which investigated the petitions against him. When you deal with the issue of massive unemployment, you deal with the change in, in the economic mantra. The mono-economic situation, where we have, mono -cropping economic situation that we have cannot survive. The Nigeria cannot continue to be what we are if we continue to just rely on oil. For me, I agree with the President that there is a need to invest in agriculture. When we went to Germany, there was no natural resources that we met. Now, if we invest in agriculture and invest in technology, you would hire as many workers as possible. In the course of campaign, I discovered that in Boronu, we were seeing what watermelon that were grown naturally. If you plant just 100,000 hectares of watermelon in Boronu, if you encourage it by disbursing funds to responsible farmers, and you have 100,000 uh, hectares of farmland planting watermelon alone in Boronu, you can be sure to engage more than 30,000 workers. 